Wrapping up another day of fall camp here with the Flames football team. My name is Nick Pierce, visiting now with starting quarterback Josh Woodrum. Man, Josh, you're winding down here in fall camp. Uh, has it been a productive camp for you so far, and how do you feel the offense is looking? Absolutely, it's been productive. Um, as far as the offensive unit, um, you know, we we picked right where we left off from spring ball, and that's always what coach talks about: is never taking a step back, always taking steps forward. And uh, you know, the big question mark going into the season was the run game, and I think you know we finally figured out you know what we're good at and what you know we're probably not as good at. So. Um, Overall, I'm, I'm really happy with our progress. I think um, our deep balls have been excellent this, uh, this camp. Our quick game has been excellent. Our offensive line game has really picked up since spring ball. I know we were kind of moving people around with, um, with Hunter Stewart uh, departing from last year. Max Summers has really picked it up. And you know we, we found those, uh, those first eight linemen that are going to be in the rotation. So uh, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with our progress. And I can't wait till we uh, you know, put it into an actual game. I know you told me a couple of weeks ago at Media Day that with the running backs this year, you wanted to get those guys in more space and let them use their speed. Have you been able to do some of that and implement a few plays here in fall camp? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think we've been scheming up, uh, you know, as far as our backfield goes. Uh, we have got them involved in the passing game a lot, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really happy about that. But, you know, also it gives our team a better opportunity to win and uh, to score points. And, and at the end of the day, that's really what it's all about, is scoring, ports, scoring more points than the other team and winning the football game. So, um, Overall, like I'm, I, I think I'm really impressed with our running back so far. I know DJ has been running real hard. Austin Kegler has been doing really well, and Todd Macon has really burst onto the scene for us as far as a power runner. And he may not be as shifty and as fast as the other guys, but uh, you know he he's broken a couple a couple tackles on Nick Sigmund down here in the goal line that you know he's probably not too happy about. But uh, I'm I'm really impressed with Macon, and I'm sure he'll do have a pretty good season this year. That's really encouraging to hear because I think that was one of the big questions coming from the fan base was who was going to be that kind of between the tackles kind of guy. So you think Macon and could could uh, take that that uh, workload? Yeah, I think honestly any of them could. Uh, DJ is obviously not as big and uh, you know as as physically built as you know Macon or Austin Kegler, but uh, he's real tough. You know he runs hard, and you know I think he could run in the tackles. I wouldn't like I wouldn't prefer him do that because he's got a smaller frame, and you know we need him on the outskirts of the offense. You know making plays outside of the line, but uh, definitely you know Macon's been running real hard up in the tackles, and I think he's been doing a really good job for us, and I'm sure he will. I want to ask you, too, about going against this defense. Uh, obviously losing Walt Aikens, Kevin Fogg, in the secondary from last year, but you're going against Kenny and Wesley Scott now, and then you've still got Jacob Hagan back there to worry about. What have you seen from those guys in the secondary? How tough have they made your life? Uh, you know, to be completely honest, uh, I think they've been doing a pretty good job. Um, I would like to say that our offensive, our, our weapons on offense are probably a little more on the upside than our than our defensive secondary is. But you know that's that's the whole thing. You know, me and Petey and Dante and Gabe. You know, we've been together for three years now, so we should have great chemistry together. And uh, it is the first time that you know Wes and Kenny, even though they have played a lot of time at nickel and corner, it really is the first time that they're being thrust onto the scene as far as uh, you know being starters. But overall, I think they've been doing really good. You know, I'm really impressed with Kenny. And uh, Wes is a real physical guy. You know, he'll get up there and he'll jam you. He's not afraid to get up, get up and get in your face at the line and Kenny you know obviously he's probably the most technical sound defensive player we have out there and uh, like you said Hagan you know most of the time uh, we, we we try to work away from him just because you know he he's not he's not as fast as Kenny or Wes because he's a safety but he covers ground so fast so if you lob the ball up there you know there's a good chance he'll undercut it and you know be able to make it make a play so you know I was kind of having a, a friendly poke at him the other day and I was like does, how does it feel when you know you do something and I do something opposite of you he's like you know it's honestly kind of annoying because I'm trying to be in the right place and you just go away from me but it's 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 fun it's real fun well as you look ahead to UNC how much have you guys been able to implement getting ready for them so far has it been mainly about you guys so far to this point uh, so far it's been all about us you know UNC is on our mind but during camp it's not really about the other team it's about getting your steps right getting your depth route right getting your fits right getting your footwork right it's all about that um, when we get into when school starts, as far as next week, that's when we'll start cracking down on UNC. Obviously, we've looked at some film on them and broke them down a little bit and, you know, looked at their roster and whatnot. But more than anything, camp is to figure out what you're good at, what you're not good at, so you can work on the stuff that you're not good at and get even better at the stuff that you're already good at. Lastly, here as you wind down with fall camp, are you, are you ready to, to take that next step and start getting into to game week preparation? Absolutely. I think everyone's kind of tired of being in camp. 
that's the whole thing, you know, more more so than anything, you know, camp, camp is fun because, you, you know, these are my best friends around here. Everyone's around there, really good friends, but it gets sort of monotonous as you're going on and, you know, it's the same same thing over and over and that's what, you know, you got to be mature and you got to have leaders on your team that, you know, understand, you know, even though we're doing the same thing, we got to get better every single day. We've never arrived and we never will until a, a big team like Alabama or Florida State is afraid to play us. That's when we can finally say we are, we've arrived and I don't think we're at that point yet. Lofty goals there, but I like to hear it. Josh, appreciate the time. Wish you the best of luck here coming up through the rest of fall camp. All right, thank you. That's Flames quarterback Josh Woodrum with us. Stay tuned to LibertyFlames.com for continuing coverage of Flames fall camp and preseason practice. For the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.